Denver, A. When Pat Certain II was about to sign his colossal contract extension that briefly made him the highest paid cornerback in NFL history, coach Sean Payton said he wanted to see even more out of his superstar. As in more takeaways, Cern delivered with a pair of interceptions Sunday in the Denver Broncos 34-18 route of the injury-riddled Las Vegas Raiders. He returned the first one for a 100-yard touchdown that erased an early 10-0 deficit and his second one set up another touchdown as the Broncos, 3-2, snapped an eight-game skid against the Raiders, 2-3. It didn't start off well, Denver coach Sean Payton said, but we bounced back, in a big way. Thanks to Certain's big day, it began with a jersey swap with Hall of Fame cornerback Champ Bailey, who was participating in the Broncos alumni weekend and throwback festivities honoring the franchise's first Super Bowl team in 1977 led by class of 2024 Hall of Fame linebacker and Orange Crush conductor Randy Gratishar. That jersey swap was legendary. Certain said, that's something that I've always wanted to have in the inventory, along with a game like this. Not only did the signage, field and scoreboards feature throwback vibes, but so did Denver's stat defense which held the Raiders to just 5 yards rushing after halftime. The Raiders scored on Brock Bowers' 57-yard touchdown catch and Daniel Carlson's 40-yard field goal and were threatening to take a 17-3 lead when Gardner Minshew who completed his first nine passes for 115 yards, rolled to his left on first and goal from the five and had Bowers open. His throw sailed over Bowers' head and certain caught it at his own goal line and took off down the Denver sideline. The only Raider who had a chance to prevent the turnaround touchdown was Minshew, but he was bowled over by rookie linebacker Jonah Ellis 35 yards downfield and certain trotted into the end zone with the ball held high. I caught the ball and saw a full head of green grass, Certain recounted, and I was like, eh hey yeah, this is a touchdown. His heart sank, however, when he turned around in the end zone and saw a flag. I was worried, I was scared, and I was tired, said Certain, whose concerns were quickly allayed when the referee ruled there was no foul on the return. It definitely swung the game, Minshew said, and obviously I can't do that to our team put us in a bad spot. That swing was definitely on me. Dot. I thought we got off to a good start, and then I killed our momentum with the pick six. Rookie Bo Nix, coming off a victory over the Jets despite throwing for just 60 yards, had a breakout day with a pair of TD throws after coming into the game with just one. He also ran for a score as Denver scored 34 unanswered points, completing passes to a franchise record 11 players. Nix finished 19 of 27 for 206 yards, two TDs and no interceptions as the Broncos secured their first win over the Raiders since December 29, 2019. First-year starter Riley Moss also intercepted Minshew, his first career interception coming one week after his first career fumble recovery and two weeks after the first forced fumble of his two years as a pro. It also ended Minshew's day. He was replaced by Aiden O'Connell with Las Vegas trailing 2010. Minshew, who was missing superstar Devant Adams, hamstring, for the second straight week, finished 12 of 17 for 137 yards with one touchdown, two interceptions and a pair of sacks after completing his first nine passes for 115 yards. His tenth went 100 yards in the other direction, the second longest interception return in team history behind only Akib Talib's 103 yarder against Dallas in 2017. It was a big momentum swing, for sure, said Raiders star defender Max Crosby, who had a pair of sacks despite a tender ankle. As a defense, as a unit, we talked about being the engine. And so, regardless of the situation, we've got to be able to respond. But yeah. We weren't good enough. We'll be better. O'Connell went 10 of 20 for 94 yards and an interception. Certain intercepted O'Connell's first pass of his second series, giving Knicks the ball back at the Las Vegas 39 shortly after the rookie QB's one yard keeper made it 27 10, and Knicks promptly hit Josh Reynolds for a nine yard score. We got short fields, Knicks said, crediting Denver's defense on a day the Broncos' offense converted just 3 of 12 third downs. Vexed Vegas, Adams was among five injured Raiders who sat this one out, and the Raiders' offense may have a harder time breaking out of its funk as Adams this week made it clear he'd rather play for another organization.
Off the hook, the Broncos took a 13-10 halftime lead on Willits's 44-yard field goal with no time left. It was a do-over after he was wide left from 59 yards, but Raiders defensive end Janarius Robinson was whistled for a 15-yard personal foul for leaping over the snapper, giving Lutz a second try. Injuries Raiders DT Christian Wilkins also got a sack but he sat out the second half with a foot injury. Dot. Broncos see Matt Wattenberg left in the fourth quarter with an unspecified injury. Dot. RT Alex Palchewski, ankle, was replaced by Matt Pert in the second half. Palchewski has been starting in place of Mike McGlinchey, knee. Up next, Raiders, host the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday. Broncos, host the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday.